Hi and welcome to RC Nerd 74. In today's video I'm gonna talk about the modification I did on my original Futaba SBUS receiver R2001SB which is specially made for FPV drones but it's still pretty big and I had to do a modification to make it fit into my 3 inch quad. I'm gonna go through the steps I did for the modification and show you the final installation. The reason why I wanted to change to the SFHSS original Futaba receiver is that I'm not happy with the FR Sky range I had with my RXSR FR Sky receiver. First, I tried to change to a Chinese FHSS receiver which works with Futaba transmitters, but I wanted to run it with my jumper radio which also supports FHSS protocol from Futaba but this receiver didn't work with my jumper radio so I tried to modify the original Futaba receiver which is a pretty expensive receiver around $60 there's always a little bit of risk to damage the receiver if you modify it but everything went well and now I'm happy with the result and I'm gonna show you all the details now. First of all, I had to remove the shrink tube and the carton card which is wrapped around the receiver. That was a pretty easy step and you just have to be a bit careful to not damage any parts on the electronics plate, but that's not a big deal. Then the second step was to unsolder the original pins which make the receiver way longer than it is now after the modification. For this I had to push off the plastic mounts or holders which keep the pins in place. For this you have to push the pins against the hard surface and then you're able to push the plastic holders off the pins. Like this you're able to unsolder the pins and do not damage anything so you can reuse the pins and also the pin holders and solder them back onto the electronics plate if you want to use your receiver in a later situation in the original conditions. Then I soldered the FC to the cable which connects the FC with the receiver there you have to be a bit careful because these are pretty small solder pins on the receiver but everything went well and if you are careful it's also no big deal to do this. To avoid any short circuits you have to put on a shrink tube again to protect the receiver from hits and also short circuits. Then I took some double sided tape to mount the receiver on the top plate like this. The receiver is away from all the other electronics so there is no distortion from the VTX or the camera plates which can reduce the range of your RC system. The RC antennas of the Futaba receiver are pretty long so like this you're able to pull the antennas all the way back through the quad under the top plate with one antenna you can go to the left rear arm and just use a zip tie and shrink tube to install the antenna like I did. For the other antenna I used the original hose which already exists in the top plate to mount another zip tie and like this you get the perfect 90 degree angle of both antennas to reach maximum range. And last but not least, let's have a look at the weight and the size. In case of weight, you cannot reduce too much because this receiver is 4.2 grams. You take off some original shrink tube and this carton wrap thing, but after the modification, you put on some other shrink tube again. So the final receiver modified will be still between three and four grams. In case of size, what really changes is the length. This, the width is almost the same, it's around uh, 20.5 after modifications, it's 21.1 before modification. In length it's 29 after modification and in stock size it's 41.8. And also in height there doesn't change too much, it's perhaps around one millimeter you can reduce with only using shrink tube on the receiver. 
So that's already all about the modification and installation of my Futaba R2001 SB receiver in my 3 inch drone. Range test will follow soon. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.